Welcome back. We're trying to find a way to meet Matsugane. And the only way I can see of doing that, other than waiting for some mystery phone call, which just hasn't happened in between the parts, is to actually, um, go into Charles and... I, I was going to say speak to, and then I forgot his name. <laughs> I forgot his name. Higashi? Is it Higashi? Huh? Looking for Higashi, Anaki? He's back in his office. It's Higashi. Got it. It's Higashi. What do you want? Sticking your nose where it doesn't belong again? I need to know where Hamura is. Still hiding. Not a clue where. What about Matsugane-san? Is he back at the office? Use your head, talk. No way he's gonna stick around there. Kaito-san. Hamura and the boss are in the same boat. Those Kyorei assholes would hunt him down in an instant if they were easy to track. Exactly. Wherever they are now, they're safe. No idea where that'd be, though. Can't you at least get in touch with them? Just say we want to have a few words. I can try. I'll let you know once I figure shit out. You know how to pick up a phone, yeah? Yeah, thanks. I mean, I was waiting for a phone call. Hoshino-kun told me about Ayabe. Said the mole framed him. Guess he's really behind all of this. Yep. Which brings us right back to Hamra. We'll start from him and go from there. Plain and simple. Let's just hope Matsugane-san knows where he is. Well, no point worrying about that until Higashi gets back to us. Indeed. Let's roll, talk. Hell. So what do we do now? Again, it is like... At least this time I am waiting for a phone call, but what do we do? Go, go get a bit of a scrap going on here? This looks like a group, yep. Yeah. Alright, what can we do around you here? Asked for it. I, mean, I, suppose, I mean, there's a car. There's a car. You can get someone, like, in front of the car, maybe? Oh! This is the one I was trying to show you. Finally. At long last. I got there. Ooh, damn, he flew. He flew. Me. Right, so what else can we do? Again, I'd go do some karaoke, but we can't do any karaoke. So, um. It's very much like, I, I'm thinking maybe the, the batting area, go, go do some more of the, um, baseball stuff, maybe? We'll take out these guys, so we may as well. Bring it on. Alright, let's see what we've got, let's see what we got. Just wondering, hello, where did you come from? Uh, just looking around, like, the map and stuff like that, see if there's anyone nearby we could maybe cause an interaction with. That's the car again. Why was that so hard for me to figure out before? I think I forgot how to do it was the main thing, but... At least I've got it again. Oh, Alright, there. Um, again, just looking around for things to do with these guys, it's like, hmm... Really, guys? Really, guys. Let's see again about the batting area. So again, we can we can go do a little bit of um baseball for a little while, I guess. Are you someone I can fight? No. Okay. Is there anyone I can fight around here? Because I was thinking maybe I could see if I could get another interaction with. Ba -ba 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 -ba. No. All right, we got we're going the baseball then. Get some baseball going on. I mean, those two are always standing outside. There's got to be something going on there. Maybe it's just the smoking area. Could just be the smoking area. Right, let's give this another go then. 200 yen to go. Home run course. Alright, so... Maybe. You I mean, that guy should really take his tie off at least. Alright. See if I do better than last time. 
Ooh. You think I would have got that one? Oh, like, come on. Ugh. Terrible. Terrible. D didn't even hit it. Didn't even hit it. Strike! Oh, my. I'm doing so much worse than I did last time. What happened? Oh, my. I like the little screen, though. You yeah, have where someone's throwing the ball. I want at least one, then. Did so much better last time. I don't know. I, just, I don't know. I'm feeling... Oh, God. That was strange. Just feeling so off, apparently. This woe is me. Oh, no. I got it there, at least. There's something. Oh, my... Oh. Uh oh. Uh oh. Uh oh. Oh, dear. Let's roll, talk. At least I got some SP from that, I guess. All right, anyone around? Just wondering who that is up there. But no. We're still waiting for the call. What, what can we do? There's got to be something we can do. Yeah, oh, darn, jeez. Let's see if we can get them back over to this. Alright then. Because again, if we can get something going on with the popo over here, it could be fun. Just need them to come over here. Get over here! Yeah, they're not coming. They're not coming. Most of this part's going to be me just wandering around being like, what can I do? What's the green thing in there? It's a leaf. Where have you been? Some bum over at Earth Angel keep pestering me to drink. What do you mean, wait up? What do you mean, literally, what do you mean, wait up? What are we doing? Mushy, mushy. Cheap plastic. Maybe, like, there's a certain part of town I'm meant to go to? I don't know, we'll, we'll try venturing off down... Just down Kamurocho, then. That's all I can think of. Again, I'd go karaoke. <laughs> but I can't do that. These guys are here, spotting for a rumbling. Not a wise choice. Oh, let's go! Oh. <laughs> Eh. Eh. I mean, you know, could have been better in terms of skill. Maybe head back towards the office. Wait, that's the office then. Out the way. I don't even go do like <laughs> friendship things. I was gonna say. Hello. Yo, it's Higashi. Hey, any word from Matsugane-san? What do you say? Meet at a restaurant called Kamuroki Kunoya. A little ways out of the city. Take a cab. Boss is already there. Got it. Thanks, Higashi. Don't keep him waiting. Am I? Let's go get a cab then. So maybe it was just head back towards the office. I was gonna say, I was expecting to hear the sign fall over after I knocked it. Oh, here we go. I don't want to go in here. I wanted, I wanted to run up the wall and it didn't go well. Uh -oh. Can I maybe... Oh. Although I've not got enough heat now, have I? Let's see here. Items. Um, I was thinking maybe... I could throw you over... No, I don't want the pipe. 
trap, trap you. Oh, there's a pole there. That's gonna gra grab you and throw you over the, over the the railing. That was my logic, but guess not. For now, anyway. I'll try again later. Just trying to find any like like ones based around the world we're in, you know. Okay, Camaro Kikonoya. Because I know there is ones based on locations. Just want to try and find them, you know. Matsugane-san, our guests have arrived. Good. Please, take a seat. It's been some time, Tuck. And you I haven't seen since your expulsion. Yes, sir. Matsugane-san, I'm sure Higashi mentioned this. But I want to ask you directly. Come now. Let's at least have a drink first, huh? <laughs> if you say so. Here. Place is pretty fancy. It's been a while since the three of us drank. Tuck, I have a favor to ask. You need to stay away from Hamura. Uh, what? This family is nothing without him. Well, he's the only thing keeping us afloat. Yeah, you told me that already. Where is he? I don't know. He has no reason to keep me informed of his every move. Then why did you call us here? We didn't need to come all this way if that's all you had to tell us. Boys! Well, well, well. Boss? I don't understand. My boy, you need to stay away from Hamura. The mole's my top priority now, and Hamura's the only person I can ask. Don't you understand? Hamura's been compromised. Him and that mole you're chasing, they're in this together. Time to let it go. What if I say no? I couldn't tell you what might happen. He's dangerous. What do you mean, he's dangerous? If you can't tell me that, why should I stop? Amura. The boy has money on his side, and a lot of it. And I don't know who he gets it from. I suggest you don't push the matter. But if you really want to put yourself in harm's way, then let me be the one to do it. At least then you'll make it out alive. You'd do that? You know, you and Kaito, well, I've always tried to keep you two kids safe. All this time, I've never asked for anything in return. But here we are. This is the only thing that I'll ever ask of you. Abandon this pursuit of the mole. If you've ever held a shred of regard for me, then heed this one request. I'm not turning back. The risk doesn't matter anymore. Okubo, the mole, the ADDC, it all connects. This isn't about what regard I have for you. I won't stop. Then I'm sorry. <clears throat> Boss. I've always looked up to you. And good Yakuza don't disobey. 
But now... I'm in Yagami's corner, damn it. Yes, that you are. Matsugane-san! Higashi. Uh, sir. Pick your side. I've had enough. You're Matsugane, are you not? I am, boss. <laughs> Prove it, then. Come on, Higashi. <laughs> Bad luck, dude. Guess we're doing this, huh? Not like we got a choice. And now that we're up against the wall, you're just gonna have to do it. Let's see what you've got! I'm sure he's gonna be just fine. Time to die! Oh, come on, mate. Die! Guys, you're messing up the place. No. It was so pretty. No, not Higashi. You'll be sorry. Okay. Light up. Yes, we got around his potential. Just lots of lamps from the looks of it, loads of little lights around. That's all we've really got. That one. Mate, you're asking for that. Let's change it up. Man. Noise. Oh, steady on. Let's finish this. It's about a heat action then. We're in the pool. Or the pond? I suppose it's the pond. It's like, ow, 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 ow. It's like, I can't get out of floating in the sky. Going, no, not that. Where'd that come from? This is what I want. Is that all you got? Still feeling tough. This is my nice little easy heal. Is that all you got? I wish there was a way to turn off the extract, though. You, oh, stop making me float! Oh, apparently that got him. It's fine. I mean, at least the table's okay. And the drink, I suppose. That was simple for you two. Far too simple. Makes me realize how old I really am. It's a shame, isn't it? That I've all but faded away. Ah, time sure flies, my boy. 
Just gets worse and worse with every year. Damn tragic. Matsukane. I mean, I'm assuming Higashi is okay, though, after all that. And stay down, asshole! 20 years ago? Okay. Not gonna be that easy. You're really laying it on him, Kaito. Oh, boss. Is this the Yagami kid you were talking about? Yep. Happens every fucking time I run into the guy. So, asshole, you, uh, get some kind of sick pleasure out of him beating the crap out of you? Time after time, you just keep coming back for seconds. You all right in the brain, kiddo? I'm saner than you, you bullshit Yakuza. Huh. Bullshit Yakuza, huh? Some rotten attitude you got there. Hey. Why don't you go fuck yourself? Who the fuck do you think you are? <laughs> Back in the day, I was a lot more like you than I think you even know. I was in a real bad place, so I just started punching anything that pissed me off. And before long, my time was up. Nowhere left for me to go except this cesspool of a city. And you, my boy, that's exactly where you are. Don't talk like you know me. You don't know shit. Oh, but I do, you see. When I was your age, my life was going down the shitter and I just kept flushing. And now, <laughs> you, my boy, you're the same little punk I was. I can tell. You know, sometimes people have no choice but to turn to the Yakuza. But, even if my chance is gone, you've got a future ahead of you. <clears throat> now, I might have called this place a cesspool. But it's more than that. Kamurocho. It's a city of dreams, where even from the gutters, you can shoot for the stars. So if you want to get ahead in this town, well, kid, I'll teach you everything I know. But look, if nothing else, you might want to lay off your little date nights with Kaito. A blue shirt, though? I don't think it works, really. In times like these, it's hard to even enjoy a drink. The mole you're searching for is a hired gun employed by Hamura. An assassin? Yes. It seems Hamura always turns to the same person when he needs someone taken care of. That's your killer, without a doubt. Do you know anything about him? No. But whoever he is, he's a goddamn pro. He's killed several people now the exact same way, yet barely left a trace. Do you know what he looks like at least? No. The only one who does is Hamura. Are you still going to pursue this, Doc? That's the plan. You should know. Even if you track down Hamura and the Mole, that won't be the end of it. They're just puppets on a stage much larger than you realize. And once you step foot on that stage, there's no hiding from the limelight. Do you understand? I'd rather try and regret it than never try at all. Huh. Nobody listens to their elders these days. Sorry about this, boss. Seriously.
Can I just say one thing, Matsugane-san? What is it? The Matsugane family I know would never turn a blind eye to cold-blooded murder like this. You say you can't exist without Hamura, but... Don't make me repeat myself. Times have changed. Hamura is the Matsugane family now. It's not my place to interfere anymore. That's my prerogative as Patriarch. Matsugane-san. Thank you for everything. Where did the bottle go? It survived the fight and then just disappeared. We will never know. All that and still no clue where Hamura is. We're back to square one. Not exactly. The boss slipped us a pretty big hint. Oh yeah? When he was talking about Captain Hamura. Hmm? He might be in hiding, yeah. But the family looks to Hamura for guidance now. He's got to be communicating with them somehow. If we can just listen in on one of their conversations, that should lead us straight to him. We just got to get ears in there. You follow me? I think I do. You want to bug their office. Exactly. True. That might lead us straight to Hamura. But after everything that just went down, you know what'll happen if we get caught. They'll kill us. Which means, we'll just have to enlist the help of an expert burglar. Aha. Uh -huh. You want to make Sugiura do it. I'll give him a ring. You go track down some bugs. Me? Make sure they're HD audio and shit. Meet me at the office once you've got them. We can't afford to do this half assed If it's technology I need... Tsukumo's? The guy we need. Right, get a wiretap from Tsukumo. Tsukumo. Am I saying that anywhere near right? That's what I want to know. Tsukumo. Like, I'm trying to not pronounce the T, but still it inflects upon how I say the Su. So it's Tsu. But whether that's right, I don't know. Probably not. We'll leave those good. No, we won't leave those guys. We'll just do this. I forget that we have that. We can just blast through things quite nicely. I do find it funny this place is called Volcanic Volcano. A, a volcano would be volcanic, yeah. Co correct, yes. It's like mountainous mountain. Like, yeah. Why would it not be? Why would it not be? Alright, where's he at then? Hey, Tsukumo. Oh, Yagamishi. What is it this time? I'm trying to keep this on the down low here, but I'm looking for bugs. Think you can help me with that? <laughs> you know who you're talking to, right? Of course I can. Thought so. Well, any time works for me as long as I've got the parts. You're gonna make them by hand? I won't find a safer pair of hands than literally my pair of hands. Plus, you get a friend discount. If you say so. Anyway, what do you need? I'll run to a department store and pick them up. <laughs> no need. Here's a riddle. You can get me from here, but I am not here. What am I? What? <laughs> Online shopping! Things get here in no time with rush shipping. I'll just need you to give me the cash. How much are we talking? For parts and labor, let's say... a hundred thousand? That's with your friend discount? <laughs> yes, sir. I'm taking a loss on it for you, Yagamishi. <sighs> All right. Just let me know when you have the money, and I'll put the order in. Oh, cheers, mate. So, I'm thinking we'll end this part here, and in the next part, we'll pay him. It's it's a it's a good separation. I feel that is a really close camera. Like, so close, it's slightly blurry. Uh, more blurry. Anyway, we'll see you in the next part. Ta-da for now.